first found all alone lying down by Rachel in the morning, when she was approximately six months old. On the eve of this morning, Rachel within this location. Oh, they had had lots of uh, conscience oh, can you touch her? between yeah, the two communities to fight, uh, fighting each other for cutting oh, rustling. Come it. early morning, they She's also a had lots of noise from the <laughs> elephants. They decided She's to go and find out what She's was troubling here. these elephants. That was when they oh, encountered that these cows all alone lying down. She likes us. She we were touch contacted her? for her rescue. No. And immediately oh. she arrived in the nursery. We came to learn that uh, she, she was oh. paralyzed on Port of Are you okay? What happened? She touched her. She walked on you? Yes. That is why oh. we decided to give her child with a loss of massage. Oh. After a month, she started showing us She's some still good here. signs, <laughs> making one step after the other. Oh, we decided just to give her time, God. and right now, she is okay, at the age of about oh, two years old, and doing well. From this, we suspect and believe, during this commotion, she might have fallen down, and the rest might have stepped on her. So we believe she gonna be fine, and walk free into the wild. At the far corner, number three on my right hand with one ear folded, an elephant by the name of Nyambeni, rescued from a place called Nyambeni within a many forest in Meru. She was discovered all alone in the forest by community people. The mother and the rest of the group was nowhere to be found. That is why she we had to rescue you. at the age of about four months. Right she now, she's you. approximately one and a half years old. She likes you. Very close to the keeper, a smaller one along the line, number four. It is an elephant by the name of Tali, rescued from Masai Mara when she was approximately a six month old. Talek had been spotted in a company of a male elephant who was taking care of her. The funny thing is that at some point, she would have gone looking for milk from this male elephant who didn't have milk. She kept on screaming as the bull would try to it's show her find no away. other way to get around? The management <laughs> of the area was informed as such was done for the mother. That's why, like, get up, up, get up. At the age of about six months, That's how she you can't me have survived. <laughs> Wake up. That is why yeah. we had to fly out, rescue her, and give her a second chance to survive back in the world. She is approximately 15 months old. Along the line, at the Close post in the middle, the second smallest in size, with one ear folded, an elephant by the name of Patamat, rescued from Masai Mara, when is she when he was approximately five months old. Butterman's mother died from a natural disease. The boy was found still within the same crop. Plans underway for him to be rescued, but he disappeared with the rest of the group. A week later he was resurfaced. Again a plan underway for him to be rescued. He wouldn't then disappear again within the same same group three weeks down the line he was found very very emaciated and very very skinny that is when we were able to rescue him to the nursery right now he is approximately a 14 month old and they were in the nursery can you see walking upright along the line in front of the keeper in front of me an elephant by the name of shucha who is approximately 20 month old, almost two years old. Shucha was rescued from Savo Conservation Area when he was approximately five month old. He was found stuck in mud in a drying water hole during the dry season. So lucky the name Shucha is a Swahili word for a hero. We decided to name him a hero because there were lots of footprints within this location confirming the struggle 
that the rest of the family had encountered, trying to yes. but in vain. He managed to overcome the night with all the prejudice in the world. He survived. He is a hero. That is why we gave him the name Shucha. 20 months old at the moment. They made him get up. Back on they my did? left hand, the yes, first one, they won't let him he has folded an infant by the name of Taroha, who happens to be best friends to Mokokoto on my right hand. Taroha is also a drowned victim, rescued from Savo West National Park, found all alone, starving to death after the death of his mother, a mother who had died from starvation. He was about seven months old. Right now, he is approximately 14 months old and doing well in the nursery. The bigger one on my left hand with folded ears, an elephant by the name of Latika, who is approximately two and a half years old. She was rescued from some conservation area. She is a, a drought, I mean, she was found trapped in a snare, kind of a white trap, wrapped around her neck. She was about a year old. She didn't have a task. So she can't have been detected for that trap. Maybe the mother or any other wild animal for 10 minutes so. Lucky that she was found while still alive. Only the trap had damaged her neck. There was a wound around this neck having uh, caused it by these uh, snare. We managed to do the wound that we come out and she is doing well at the age of about uh, two and a half years old. Going or holding a stick by her mouth in the middle next to the second biggest in the group, an elephant by the name of uh, Muzinga, rescued from Muzinga area within Savo Conservation Area. She is a drowned victim. She was found alone walking along the line and uh, along the road within the National Park, within Savo East National Park. That is why we had to rescue her. She is approximately one and a half years old and doing well in the nursery. So that gives us a total of about 10 elephants. A few minutes from now, they will all be walking back into the forest where they spend their day out from 6 in the morning until 5 in the evening in the company of the keepers. We don't leave them by themselves. They will always be close to their keepers for 24 uh, hours around the clock. Apart from rescuing elephants and rhinos, there are other projects that we undertake. For example, we have got anti-poaching teams or disnearing teams. These teams will be patrolling within our national parks and camp reserves, within our conservation areas, destroying snares which are traps set up for the wild animals. At the same time, they will be helping in driving away those people found locking or burning charcoal in the national parks, leaving them free and safe for the wild animals. We have got mobile veterinary units. Once we receive information about any injured or any sickly wild animal, regardless of the species, our mobile veterinary units will either fly out or check the uh, place of the scene, help treat these animals and set them free to continue with the natural lives.